Hello everyone, I am Dustin Childs, Head of Threat Awareness here at Trend Micro Zero Day Initiative. And with me is a Senior Vulnerability Researcher from the ZDI, Matt Powell. Matt, how are we doing today? I'm exhausted, Dustin. That's right. <laughs> exhausted. We are done. We are done with it. Day three of Own to Own Automotive, our second annual competition. And uh, that thing is just going off again, isn't it? It is. Um, I should we try and go someplace else? <laughs> it is the end of Pwn to Own Automotive 2025. We've had three amazing days of research. Matt, let's go through it. Let's start with day one. What were some highlights for you for the first day of the competition? Well, the day started out strong. Synactive came in. They were targeting the, the charge point charger with one of the first ever seen before, we're going from the charger all the way to the gun. So they were able to compromise the charger and then their pivot modified the signal going to the gun to the EV unit. Yeah, that was really impressive. And I don't think that's ever been publicly demonstrated before. And we actually had to build a little unit to act like a car. I call that the Ikane, which is Japanese for it doesn't go. Uh, so that was, that was neat. That was neat. And then uh, we moved to day two and Synactive came back and did it the opposite way, right? With the Tesla, yes. Yeah, the Tesla wall charger, they actually started at the charging connector and compromised the, the wall charger through that. And uh, that took a while, right? Yeah, it was a long attempt, but, but the, they got it at the end. Yeah, I, they got it at the end, and I think the connection was slow over that. And I could see like 1.6, 1.7, 1.8, just loading the entire time. The number of IVIs, the in-vehicle infotainment systems, that we saw a lot of those get hit. There are a lot of entries in those categories and the, the uh, very eye-opening experience, Dustin. <laughs> I was gonna say, what can we say, what can we infer about the security of the, such devices since they had so many vulnerabilities and so many, in a way, kind of simple vulnerabilities. Yeah, we're seeing some basic uh, coding practice issues, uh, low hanging fruit that could easily be addressed to help harden these devices up. Well, let's hope the vendors take this seriously and we get that hardened up over the next year. Uh, and then day three, we finally got wrapped everything up today. We had another Tesla wall connector exploit and uh, we had a final exploit on the Kenwood IVI where they, the competitor, Newbie, uh, his debut, he just used his fingers, right? <laughs> yeah, he did everything by hand, right? He did everything by hand, which I think means he has to register his hands uh, and under the Wassenaar arrangement as, you know, deadly weapons or something. <laughs> but overall, let's talk about totals, 49 zero days. $886,250 awarded over the three days. Whew, that sounds like a lot of sushi. That's a lot of sushi. And maybe some sake to go along with it. Uh, and of course we awarded a master of Pwn. We haven't even talked about Cena yet and what he's done, but Cena Kirka, he came in and just crushed it. Like eight successful entries, right? He had an incredible showing. It's really, you know, it's, a, it's been a pleasure to work with him and see him uh, progress over the years and super excited for me, outstanding work. Yes, he won over $222,000, 30 and a half Master of Pwn points. He's been at it for several years, so glad to see him finally break through and get his first Master of Pwn title. Ah! So that, it really wraps up what we have done over the last three days for Pwn to Own Automotive. Obviously now the vendors have all of the bugs and are on the clock to patch them, right? They have 120 days? 120 days. That's right. So hopefully you'll be seeing some updates coming out of those vendors soon. I know Tesla is already working on it. I think Ubiquiti has already put out a patch. So congratulations to them. Well done. 
And I'd like to say thank you to our partners, Vic One, our sponsors, Tesla, and all of the contestants and vendors who have made this such a successful competition. Matt, any final thoughts about the program? I mean, I just want to say thanks to all the researchers that come out. It's an honor to look at your work and see your work in action. It's truly inspirational to say the work you guys do is fantastic. And hey, our next event, stay tuned. We'll have an announcement in February. And until then, stay safe, everyone. And thanks for joining us. And we'll see you at the next one. Hey, we made it before the thing. Yeah, um, that's all right.